The last reef we wanted to make a film that would really popped out colour so that you had a 60 foot screen, IMAX screen, that was just this, a tiny little nudie bank this big would suddenly fill the screen in masses of colour. Macro photography, that's where you really see the colours of the ocean, it's the colour of uh, life beneath the waves. You, you need to be up close because water takes away colour from light anyway. So, so if you can get close, you'll see really vivid colours. The kind of colours that you wouldn't really see normally on a, on a giant IMAX screen because you can't get the cameras that close. So to do that, we had to start from scratch because there was nothing in existence at the time. There was no underwater rig that was capable of shooting in 3D and getting really close up to a creature that's really only this big. So we worked with uh, DJ Roller, who was the he was the underwater DP on Wild Ocean, and so he joined with us on the Last Reef to develop this rig, and and really to be able to make some groundbreaking uh, photography. Shooting 3D macro photography underwater is is very difficult. It's it's all about the minutia and tiny adjustments that can make huge differences in the picture and the frame. And 3D in itself is a lot harder. It's not just a little bit harder, it's a lot harder than uh, 2D. So there's a lot of things going on in the frame. There's a very, very complex camera system and you have a hundred moving parts and everything's got to work. If one thing does it, the whole thing shuts down. We filmed last week in many locations. The majority was shot in Palau. And Palau is a place that was just, just really suitable for filming. It had very, very nice reefs um, in very good condition uh, and some very beautiful lagoons where we could shoot in quite shallow water, um, where we could actually make a sort of little studio. Because um, some of the, as we're doing macro, we need the camera very, very still. So we'd have tight, we'd find this lovely lagoon, put the camera in, and, um, and then film our little movie stars. But there's also fantastic wall dives there with very, very deep drop-offs um, and, and great, great currents taking through other areas. So it's a, it's a real mix of areas that you could shoot and dive uh, and a fantastic array of marine life. The, the camera system itself is, uh, poses its own challenges. Yeah. It's a very large camera system. It takes a lot to, uh, to prep it. It's, it's um, a lot in the sense that it's a lot more detailed and complex than a traditional camera. The team starts in the morning prepping the camera uh, two hours at least before we even leave the dock uh, on, on a boat to go out to the location. If you get all the way out there and one thing's not working, it could shut down your whole day. Um, and that's part of the reason there was so much time spent prepping it. Even though this camera system is large, and it's maneuverable, it's still a large mass. But what's still cool though is, is that it's perfectly balanced. So if, if you were to let go of the housing, um, it would sit there and hover basically in the water and you could push it with your finger. 